Hi everybody, this is Daryl, the Auto Cool Guy, and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, a procedure for troubleshooting the Auto Cool HF150. This also pertains to other controllers if you need to uh, troubleshoot. First thing you want to do, if the fan's not turning at all, short the fan and ground together. If the fan does not go to full RPM, then you got a wiring problem between the fan positive and the battery positive or from the fan return to the, this fan terminal. Also make sure this fan ground is goes straight to ground with heavy wire. And on the back side, you have your connections here. You should have, with ignition on or off, you should have plus 12 volts here. Make sure that plus 12 volt wire is fused at the battery. You can use a one or two amp fuse there. The pin 2 should have plus 12 volts with the ignition on, and pin 3 should be grounded. Now, if you um, have a problem with your sensor, pins 4 and 5, take the um, sensor wires off, pins 4 and 5, and then short the two together, 4 and 5 with the ignition on, the fan should go to full RPM. As you see here, we've got a 10,000 ohm resistor across the sensor for the nominal test. Also the sensor, one of the sensor wires, either sensor wire should be, should not be shorted to the brass. If it's shorted to the brass, the, your controller will not work. And pin 6 is the AC uh, input for 12 volts and you should have pin, pin 7 is grounded for failsafe. And back here you have this, there's a little cover, of course. You pull this guy off. And you'll see a little flat, use a flat bladed screwdriver to preset your AC fan speed. Now the, um, the radiator temperature controller will, will override the AC fan speed, so watch for that. That's, uh, so that's about it. If, uh, if you got problems, uh, please uh, call me. If you have any troubleshooting problems, call me if you can. Uh, troubleshooting with emails is very difficult. And please, no endless emails. Endless emails drives me nuts. There you have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in.